I have a feeling you'll combo if you're close enough. Yeah, he combos when you're close enough. Otherwise, he'll teleport to you. I figured... Okay, I figured out the... I figured out the trick to why he teleports now. He only tele... He teleports so he can be near you. If he's already near you, he won't teleport. That or he'll teleport if he wants to do a dive. Hey guys, Ekmars here. Welcome back to Hollow Knight. So we're going to be continuing what we did last time. We're going to smack face first into the elevator. Okay, off to a great start. <laughs> Oops. Uh, uh, <laughs> Boo. Come here. Thank you. Okay. It died, but I get it. I have to re-familiar myself with his attack pattern. I, I, do, I know his attack pattern. I got I have his attack pattern in my memory, but I have to I have to reawaken my muscle memory, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I mean Okay, I did well. I did well, but I still died. But I got it. I figured I I, I had I do have his attack pattern down. It's just a matter of rem of remembering all the stuff. Not to mention I have the best. Well, probably not the best badges, but the best badges for the job of the ones I have. Anyway. Also, the rain directly mirrors what's going on outside. Ow. Yeah, it's raining currently. Alright, don't screw this up. Yeah, he just spawns a bunch of mistakes on top of himself, and then you can't deal with them. You just gotta be—you just gotta pay attention to every little thing. It's not an impossible boss. I've seen people do it, and I can—and I've defeated two of these guys before, so I know I can do it. Not sure. I don't know if I have the time to do it right now because he's still got other stuff to record after this. feeling you'll combo if you're close enough. Yeah, he combos when you're close enough. Otherwise, he'll teleport to you. 
I figured, okay, I figured out the, I figured out the trick to why he teleports now. He only tele, he teleports so he can be near you. If he's already near you, he won't teleport. That or he'll teleport if he wants to do a dive. No idea how much health he has. I'm assuming he has the same health as the standard enemies. Hmm. What does my what does my journal say about him? Um, I'm assuming he's in here somewhere. Um. Uh. Soul Twister. Defeat one more to decide the in bug wielding a refined plane bane. Enhance its combat prowess with harvested soul. Okay, so so I have to kill this guy to get the journal entry anyway, so might as well do that. Alright. Alright, but this guy isn't that bad. I mean he's still tough. But in terms of some of the other bosses in this game, he's actually pretty tame. Yeah, I can do this. He's not hard. He's not hard once you figure out what it is you're supposed to do. I'm supposed. What I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to avoid him like the plague. <laughs> I have to. I have to keep my distance from him. Don't want to do that. Didn't mean to do that. I have to keep my distance from him so that I can actually hit him. Because he had. In addition to his close-up attack, he also has a ranged attack. So I have to stay as far away from him as I can. Doesn't give you much time to heal though, so that's the that's the major drawback to fighting this guy. He doesn't give you much time to heal, and so if you mess up, you're you're not going to recover. I wonder, is there a better badge I can have that'll enable me to survive more hits? Soul catcher, hmm, hmm. Well, I don't have enough charms for this guy. Uh, hmm, it's useful. Soul, soul Catcher isn't really all that useful, though, because it's not really helping. It's not really helping. So, but I think I would benefit from longer range. So I'm going to be equipping long now. And my range has increased slightly, so I should be able to deal with him. I should be able to hit him from farther away.
Okay, he's getting faster. He got faster, so, I, so I'm assuming it, I was doing enough damage to Quite a bit of damage to him. And that long nail did help. I was able to keep more, a bit more distance. Hmm. I need more, I need more charm notches, but I don't know how many more I need. How many more I need to equip more stuff. So, so I'm just going to go for it. understand what he's what to do it's just a matter of executing on it the shaman stone wasn't really helping so i'm don't i'm not going to be doing anything with that but yeah walked into it. But I am getting it. I know how to dodge his attacks. It's just a matter of dodging the mistakes as he summons them. So he's not challenging, per se. He's just very... I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean, he is challenging, obviously, because I'm struggling with him, but... But all of his individual components aren't challenging. They're only challenging together, if that makes any sense. Oh, not starting with the dive this time. That, that one's not even moving. That one glitched? I have a feeling that one might be glitched. Yeah, it's glitched. I couldn't hit it. He, it glitched out and I couldn't hit it. I mean, to be fair, this is a this is a indie game, and it's and the developers probably don't have all the time and effort they need to iron out every single bug, literally in this case. But but that was kind. Of, but but I do like it when games just kind of break. Focusing too much on the mistakes. That was my mistake. Haha. -ha. Joke. All right. It's almost as if I planned that joke. Who am I kidding? I never plan on my jokes. I'm too stupid to plan on my own jokes. That's why I hired writers. Kidding. I don't have any of those either. I wish I did. Kill. Kill. Kill.
Yeah, if you're skilled, you can attack him when he's attacking and block his nail attack so that you can actually deal damage to him and he and stun him. But, but the timing is incredibly hard to pull off, so I don't recommend doing that. I've only been playing for 15 minutes. Okay. Well, I can keep going until I beat him, I guess. I think the be my best strat, my best bet is to focus on him, and if the mistakes happen to be in my way, then so be it. But long nail is helping. It may not look like it, but it's helping. The range is definitely longer. Time to, I don't have enough time to heal, so I'll just have to use whatever soul I get as spells to try and damage him even faster. So I'll have to do that instead. I don't have enough. I, it doesn't give me enough time to heal, so I have to do do something. But I do get a lot of soul energy from this guy, so I'm gonna have to channel my soul energy into something else since I'm not able to heal. if I did enough did I don't know how much damage it does to the blast does to him but I, I believe I get an upgraded version of the blast if I actually kill him so I'm gonna try and kill him in today's episode also I should mention life is strange 2 is out so you should life is strange 2 second episode is now out so you should definitely keep an eye out for that for later today I'm gonna be playing that immediately after this hopefully if I time permitting but yeah I definitely need to rework my schedule a little bit because I'm kind of way way too down far down to the wire okay but yeah this boss isn't too Difficult, I don't think. I mean, he, I mean, yeah, I know he's difficult, obviously. I'm struggling with him. I've said that, but I believe I can beat him. You gotta believe in yourself, or you can't, or nobody will believe in you. Okay, that was new. I've never seen the, the spirit ball do that before. Yeah, once, once. 
I'm getting better at it, I think. Probably not. Eh. It may not seem like I'm doing a whole bunch, but I'm definitely dealing it doing well. I mean, I'm sorry if this episode's a little bit boring. I promise I'll do something more exciting next time, or if I can, if time permitting. Who knows? I may return to. Who knows? I may return to continue recording this later. I can't stop the spirit balls. Okay. 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 Okay, gotta focus. I can focus. I'll focus on... You know what? I may have to do this in post-commentary if I can't do it now. Um... I haven't really done post commentary often, so I'm so I'm not entirely sure what I need to do, but I will. Tr up, I'll give it a try. I guess. You know what? You know what? If I can't beat in this one, I'll do I'll do the commentary first. All right. Okay, I'm gonna switch over. I'll switch over to post then. I'll do. I'll do this in post recording and just focus on concentrating right now. I'll just focus on concentrating on the thing and not trying to commentate as much. And and then I'll do my ver and then I'll do my commentary post recording. All right. So uh, I guess see you guys in a bit. Okay, so here I am in post. I uh, decided to just inform you guys about my thought process while I was doing this so essentially what I did was I focused mainly on the guy while I was fighting him but I also noticed during this section while I was fighting him that he will only summon his little gibber dabbers if he, one of them is low on health and normally he can only spawn a maximum of two at a time so be sure to look out for that you are going to have to inevitably fight him if you decide to pick up this game so be war be warned about that. So anyway, there's not much else to that except just keep your footing and keep on looking out for things that he can pull on you. Other than that, I really have nothing. I'm not really used to doing post recording commentary. So I guess what I'll what I will wind up doing during this section is I'm going to probably wind up speeding it up because you guys have seen a lot of this at this point. And I didn't want to bog down the video with this. So, anyway, back to present me where I have most likely defeated the giant hulking monster dude. Got him! Oh boy, you did not know how long that took. Anyway... Figure con a figure connected to the device. Examine closely. Yes. Um. Oh my. Okay, I wasn't doing it because I was pressing B. Shade Soul. Yeah, that's the up that's the upgrade I thought it was. Yeah, anyway, that's the upgrade. That was the upgrade that I was looking for. Now where am I? Oh. 
Oh, I can't get out that way. All right. Well, anyway, I did what I wanted to do. I'm leaving it here. And that was it. Okay, so... I haven't recorded the post yet. I, I will when I go to edit it this later, but... For right now, I am going to have to leave the episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you, if you liked it, hit that like and the subscribe button. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook and on Twitter in the description below. Also, check out my Patreon in the description below as well. It's only a couple bucks a month, and you can also find it in the iCard and in the end screen. So, check it out there as well. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Happy little moment. That is until the main antagonist, Clayman, since, his, since one of the Demon Lords sees has under him to investigate Rimuru and and this demon lord Milam crash lands a few feet outside of